get right standing with you, God will do it. But do I have to do it now? Because God got all the pray. He just want me to submit. Amen. They was ready to give up their whole life. Either they save us or they kill us. Now what kind of decision is that? You think God will take everything from you you love. You think God ready to do want you to do some things that He got a plan for your life. God wants you to submit to Him. I think you have to die. But Abraham was willing to give him love. You ain't got to lose everything. But you got to be willing to give it up. Stop thinking that you, I can't do that. God knows what you can do. But if you surrender this to God, God got a plan for you. They didn't know the plan for God, but they submitted and said, if it take out, they save us, they save us. If they kill us, they kill us. If it work, it work. If it don't work, it don't work. Y'all ain't good. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to step out with God. I'm going to move with God. Uh, but you ain't going to be God ain't Nobody. You can't go around nobody. You, if you go out, you don't feel right. 
You know they're talking about you. You know they're looking at you funny. So you, you, God has isolated you. Put you in position to charge the enemy. Notice, they was charging the enemy. That means I'm going to the spiritual warfare. I'm going to rebuke this adversary. I'm going to come against all these spirits of poverty. I'm going to come against these spirits of lack. I'm going to come against everything that's trying to hinder me from going forward. Wasting time. Wasting time waiting on 
things to get where you can think where you want to be. And God already set things in place. You are your biggest enemy. Because you don't imagine something happened that don't supposed to happen. And it ain't going to happen. But you sitting back waiting on things to get where you think they need to be for you to be disappointed. Because even with you line things up in your credit and right, they still got a section they're going to put you in because your credit ain't that high. And you still ain't going to get what you want. But God going to give you what you want and what you need. That's how you talk. So it ain't none of you. It's all God. Show you how God fixed that thing. Read the rest of us. Show you how God fixed that thing up for you. What are you doing lately? For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots. Oh. God had made them. Yes, sir. Now, this is a three step of faith. God talked to the king. The four letters on the fence. This is, this is the order God did it. He informed the king because nothing happens in a place without the king being in. Informed. God never do things out of order. See, the White House already knows something's going to happen for you that if God has already informed, then it's going to happen. Yeah. God never break the ranks before we move. See, the king over the land that responsible for the people. So God told the king what he's going to do in his land. Phase one. Phase two. Unknowingly, God was working on the lands. Already, he down in the Syrian army causing waves to come up so they can run. They don't know that God's already moved. See, you ought to know God already moved for you. God already set this thing up. The thing is that you walk with no faith that God ain't with before you and fix this thing up for you, but when you come, it's already prepared for you. So you ain't even you ain't even in the mindset with a praise or worship because you think everything in these stages ain't been done until you got there. But before you get there, God already has set
and you can't move because you feel that you're independent. When I'm in this mood, every thing happens in my life, the whole body moves. Now some listen because they like the king. They won't heed to the word of the Lord. See, when the body was blessed, when I got blessed, the whole body got blessed. But some people didn't get it because they didn't move with it. See, you got this independent thing. God blessed them and he ain't blessed you. Why? Because you're not part of the movement. And when God trying to get you off the fence, when you sit there and dying, you still won't move. Because you look at your own situation and what you're dealing with. And the enemy use that so you won't see the move. If you know what you need to be doing, you need to know what the move, the body of Christ is doing. And you'll know what the move is so you can move with it. If it's healing time and the body is doing more healing and doing that, you can move with it and you can lay hands and you can lay your hands. Because yeah. yes. that's what the body is doing. Yes. If you move with the body when the no one is flowing, shout out, move, shout that. You can move with it. But when you are over here independent, thinking that it's all you by yourself, and you got your who and your who and your do, and you can't do the works of God <coughs> because you're tied up with your who and who and your all and everybody else, you're in trouble because you're not moving with the body. So you end up missing out. You miss out because you wasn't in the move. You was caught up with your own stuff. That's how the enemy makes you miss the move with the body. You get caught up with your own stuff, you get caught up with your own stuff, and you forget what the body's doing. The body's praising and worshiping God. They see the glory of God, and you're not doing it. And they see the move of God. Then if you get into that financing, people become mean as they're wealthy. People get housed in the cars by people giving them keys. Because that's what the move of the body is doing. It's moving. But you don't got independent. You don't know. That's why I said when you run the other place, you don't know who you are because you don't know you're part of that move. I'm a part of every move of Christ. I experience it. Within my spirit. I enjoy it because of my glory of my glory. People must understand that when you think, no, I'm a part of that. What they do over there, I'm a part of that. Because I'm a part of the body. Now, that what ain't a part of the body, I'm not a part of that. And you can tell when the body's moving because you can hear one preacher in one church and you go to other and they preach the same thing. the move in unison. You missed out on your prosperity because you around here written around crying and whining about your situation instead of getting in the movement. Crying about your situation instead of praise and worship, thanking God for the movement. Thank God for healing and deliverance. Thank God for the finance and breakthrough. Thank God for all this growth. You ain't doing that. Why? Because you caught up in your own stuff. Because you don't know how to be here with your partner. God had already moved and ran them out. Tell them how he did. Tell them how he did. Tell them how God did. Tell them how he did. And the noise of horses, even the noise of the great host, and they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel hath hired against us. Look at the king of Israel sitting on his throne, probably drinking coffee. He 
fear and said, they're scared. But God got faith to the imagination. God got into their imagination. God into their imagination. And when they would imagine the things happening that wasn't even happening. God will make somebody lose your stuff by giving it to their imagination. God will change their mind and lose your stuff. Get out your way. You ain't got to lift a hand. God, you just pray God and make a move and go forth. And God will give it to their imagination. God had them imagining things. So they come say, oh, take these keys.
to your house with any jack. Just to go crazy. Just to let it go and just praise and glorify. So you begin to let that hurt and that thing that's holding you back never set you free. Because I'm going to tell you this, there's some things you got about you, you don't want to able to set you free. Because the only thing you have holding you captive is you. Is you. The way you do things, the way you see things, the way you think. And you're captive to yourself. And you keep yourself there. And you fight to stay there because you don't want to let go of that self. Some people call it spoil. I call it self. Spirit of self. That don't want to let you go. And can't own yourself under the mighty hands of God. Because you want to let you know. Glory to God. Ain't that some good stuff? Y'all got that? Y'all get that? Make a decision. Make a decision. You're going to pray to God through it all. You're going to lift it up and claim your stuff and pray for your stuff and, and stop going back and forth with things that ain't going to change. The world is the world. If you're a saint, let me give you this. If you're a child of God and you were somebody that's unequally yoked, it ain't going to work. The Bible says, no, y'all ain't really yoked. How are you going to satisfy somebody and they never satisfy you because they're not equally yoked with you? So what I'm saying, you're looking for something that the Bible totally say that it don't work. He said, don't be unequally open to unbeliever. You don't even believe like me. Y'all know? You don't even think like me. I'm going to try to teach you how I think of what God said, how God do it. But you got to grab this because we got to be equally yoked. Because the house that divided can't stand. Somebody said, God, who should you say? Hey, show them that. You show them. Do your praise and worship. Do you keep focusing? Stand and firm on the word of God. You got to bring people up to your level. And you ain't doing it with stuff. You do it with the word. Because if you don't bring with the word, your house will not stand. You go on right, they go on left. Y'all just have a. You pray to God, they bang. They cut the teeth up loud so they can't have to hear what you pray. And God do it. That way you, you get you tell how really, you get in the car with the you get in the car with the kids, they listen to rap and all kinds of gods. And out there, the parents sitting over there all like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. And then you get in there with the mom and they listen to church music. Unequally yo. You wonder why you got disobedient children in the house and all kinds of disobedient. Because you're unequally yo. Why y'all ain't let that such a thing like that don't supposed to happen? Me and my house don't serve the Lord. That means this is what we listen to. Now when you ain't around me, you sneak it. You're going to have to be sneaking. I ain't going to try to find you because I already know you're sneaking. <laughs> but me and my house don't serve the Lord. I'm not looking for you to go in your car and listen to your music you play. I'm not trying to find you. I'm just standing on the word of God. And to stop me from having to get you, I'm not going to investigate you. Because if I investigate you, I'm going to have to take that from you. I'm going to have to take your ear parts. So make sure you got your ear where I can't hear. Because if I hear it, I got to take it. Because I stand for God. Amen. That don't mean.
believe they ain't gonna do, but you're gonna respect me and my God. Yeah, I already know you know. But you're gonna respect me and my God. And you're gonna be held accountable because you're speaking. And not me. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and when you run in, you know what I'm saying? We cannot party together. We can't listen to the same music together. It's tricky. See, these are the things when you let go of your promise. Things you think don't matter. You are legally yoked. You're not standing together. You divide it. You know? You want God to move for you so your children can share the best of the God when they're doing everything they want to do.
because they talk about all the Louis. <laughs> you got to step out of God, trust God. And stop to look at you, you in this move. There's a move going on. Find out what the move is in the body of Christ. And move with the body of Christ. It's new beginnings happening. Think people start to prosper. People start to get things happening in the body of Christ. You know now? And you part of that movement. You ain't got to be in the location, but you just got to know you're part of that movement. If you see somebody preaching, you ought to be start preaching yourself in that part of the movement. The order of teaching is in the air. So you see a lot of teaching. So you start teaching. A lot of preachers, evangelism, evangelism, start evangelizing. It's a movement. It's a movement. It's just not something you do. It's got to be a movement. You can't go to the left and the body of Christ going right. You become the independent. Come on, put your hand together. You got to praise the house. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And now we're going to get ready to uh, think about all. Y'all get that word today? Y'all get that word today? Yes. Say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all get the word? Yes. Come on, let's take a ball. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God, my name. 